Hello everyone and welcome to the Stock Martin channel. I have an awesome video for you today. I will be talking to you about Mulan Automotive, ticker symbol M-U-L-N. In the past over one month, I would say this stock has been on fire. It has gone up over 400%. Lately, we've had a huge pullback, but not today. Today, its stock has gone up almost 40%. We are going to be talking about why and should you be putting in a position into this stock? I think you're going to get a lot out of this video. Before we get down into it and get started, give me that big thumbs up to keep me alive on YouTube. Smash that subscribe button, notification bell, hit all to get my latest uploaded videos. Don't forget to share this page with others so we can continue to grow the channel. Also down below, I have the best promotion. Using my link to Moomoo, put in $1 will get you one Neo free stock. Put in at least $100 will get you an additional free free Lucid Motor stock. Stay to the end of this video and I can show you how you can get even more free stocks and a huge amount of free cash. Now, without further ado, let's talk about Milan Automotive. So as I mentioned, just today alone, this stock went up almost 40% just in one hour. Why? Well, it was because the CEO of Milan Automotive just did a huge inner work just did a big interview with Benzenga, and I did post that in its entirety. It's about a 32-minute video. Check the link down below in my link in the description uh, to get the fuel to get the full access of this interview, as it is very entertaining and will give you very big insights into this company. Now that being said, the company is on a roll. It did start with Carbuzz just about a couple months ago. Carbuzz did come out and talk about the Milan 5, its first SUV that the company will be coming out with. And this company will start producing its vehicle in the next few years. Um, according to the CEO, the Milan 5 will be making a debut in the market. We'll be making a the Mullen 5 will be coming to the U.S. market in the year 2024. It is slowly and steady going, but they are still doing a lot of research and development, especially in their battery technology. And that is the biggest fame that they have recently achieved because in the because in the tests in the because in the tests in the lab room, their battery is a solid state battery that they are working on. And right now, according to their in-house tests. They have made this battery. It's a polymer-based solid-state battery that does not use any liquid. So it's a dry battery pack. And this polymer-based solid-state battery can make 600 miles on a single charge, can charge extremely fast, getting at least 300 miles in less than 18 minutes, which is incredible. And if, and if this does prove to be true in the EV market, it will definitely be a huge game changer for all electric vehicle cars. Now, that being said, it is still in the research and development phase. Uh, the CEO of Milan Automotive, David Mickery, did talk about this. He did mention that it is a safe alternative, very safe battery that you can actually put a torch up to it and nothing will happen. He said if you did that to another battery that has the liquid flammable liquid solution in it with the ion batteries, any of the sulfate batteries, this will definitely blow up and it will cause a huge um, fire. So we do know that this solid state battery that Milan Automotive is working on is still in that research development phase. However, again, this could be huge changing technology that will be changing the electric vehicle market and definitely it has a lot of investors excited about this company. They have put in a lot of money into this stock, but the stock has actually fell. Uh, if you look back, the 52-week high on this stock is over uh, $15.90. Its 52-week low is $0.52. Cents. So huge spread on this. This stock has actually fallen, and we'll get to the stock charts later. Now I did want to transition and talk to you about the interview and the big highlights, according to the CEO, David McHenry of Milan Automotive. So first of all, he did talk about the company as being not the new kid on the block. They have been around since 2014. And as far as we know right now, they have two operational Mulan 5 vehicles that are actually able to drive. They are completely fit and finish completed. He said that these vehicles will be made by the year 2024. He did say that 
Right now, they are going to be made in the United States. He said that the company will be a U.S. made company. It will be made by U.S. workers and the parts for the most part will be U.S. made and the supply chain will be from the United States ranging anywhere from Detroit all the way down to Florida. So he did say that this will be a U.S. based company and he was very proud of that. In addition to this, he did mention about the company's financial situation. He said that right now they have very good balance sheet on hand. They have about $65 million in cash that has just most recently been announced and I have made videos on this previously. So he did say that the company is doing quite well and they are right on target of making vehicles in the future. Now, just most recently, we have learned some very big news that he did talk about this in detail, that they are gonna be making and selling an electric van uh, for a Fortune 500 company. He said that this production will start in Q2 of this year, of the year 2022, which is just a few days from now. Now, he stopped short of saying who the company will be that they're making this for, but he did say that this will be a public announcement and it will be very big and spectacular. He didn't mention how many numbers they will be making of these electric delivery vans. However, he did mention that this will be a very big purchase. He didn't actually talk about if this is a pre-order or an actual order uh, when he was asked in the interview. He did just mention that this will be a very big purchase from a very big, well-known Fortune 500 company, and this will be announced in the next coming weeks. And I think that is going to be a huge, big catalyst for the stock moving forward. So please keep an eye on that as this stock could go even higher after that announcement could be made. The CEO also did mention in the interview that they are right on target and they will be making more of the Milan 5 vehicles later this year for the investors and for consumers to actually feel, sit in. And he said actually test drive. So that will be very nice to see. The CEO was a very kind, very nice. I did actually enjoy the interview quite a bit. And I actually got from him that he is a go-getter. So I do think that this company is in pretty good hands and hopefully that they should be able to deliver. The mass production is gonna be the big key and if they can strategically get this. However, I think the biggest thing that this company has going for itself is that battery technology. Currently, they are just in the research and development phase and in the lab, in the laboratory settings, right now they have shown that their solid state battery can produce 600 miles on a single charge and it does have the fastest charging capability out of any electric battery uh, that is on the market right now delivering up to 300 miles in just 18 seconds, which actually beats out the Lucid Air range and the charging times. So if this is true and if this can be produced, this solid state battery from Milan Automotive, it'll definitely change the, in the EV industry and it will be great for this company moving forward, but we'll definitely have to see how that happens and with time we'll definitely see. But very big things I learned in that interview and I did post it down below if you wanted to watch it in its entirety of about 32 minutes from Benzanga. So that being said, I did just want to transition and show you how the stock did as of a result of the interview. Just today alone, it actually went up by about 1 p.m. As you can see, the stock was trading about $2 and a quarter. But right at 1 p.m. when the interview hit, the stock in just one hour went up by 39.9, we'll call it 40%, just in a matter of one hour. Huge increase in this stock. And even after hours, it did go up all the way up to $3.21. So it is doing very, very well today. But if we look past in the past one week, we are still down by 4.7%. We did test a low, which is actually today at that $2.25. But since then, in the past one week, we have actually been a little bit over $3.21. So at one point in time, and actually in the past, I would say 10 days, we did test a little bit above $4.15, but we have had huge sell-off, as I have mentioned. 
Just in a matter of a couple days, we have gone down more than about 30%, but we are starting to get some of those gains back. If we look in the past one month, we are still up a whopping 195% on this stock. I did start covering the stock around March 4th when the stock was only 77 cents. Since then, I have actually purchased this stock at about $1.15. I did sell it around $3, making a profit for myself about 160%. However, that was a very small position that I had. I was actually waiting for this stock to go under $2 or around that $2 mark to purchase some more. But again, I did miss it, especially since we had this very good news. And congratulations to those that, of you that did get this stock and made quite a bit of a percentage just in that one hour. Now, I do suspect that this stock is very volatile and still definitely we could see some downward pressure as the 52 week high on this stock is $15.90. The 52 week low is actually 52 cents. Now I did mention that the past one month has been very nice uh, for this stock up almost 200% till this date but if you look back in the past six months we are still down on this stock by 63 percent november was a great month actually for all ev stocks but muln mullen automotive actually tested above 13 dollars and 15 cents a few times actually in november about three times since then it has had a huge 95 percent drop but we are starting to get some of that back now so my question to you is, is this a good time to be getting into the stock? So personally for myself, I was going to get in back into the stock under $2. Uh, but again, that did not happen for me and I did miss the boat on this one. But we are now above that $3 mark. I am still going to be waiting to see if this can drop some more. But we do have that very big catalyst coming out and I do think that this will be happening in the next few weeks as we just heard from the CEO saying that they will be making an electric van vehicle, possibly a delivery van, for a Fortune 500 company. If this is announced, and it will be announced according to the CEO, this will be some very nice big catalyst for this stock that can propel the stock even higher. Now, if we go back to the stock charts and just look in the past six months, before we had that big run up, uh, we were actually trading at about $7.50. So I definitely think that we could go back up to that. But again, this is a very volatile stock. The market cap is 105 million market cap. So it is a very, very small micro cap company. So huge volatility we could have in this stock. Right now, we are having some very nice monthly returns. However, this could definitely turn around and have some sell-off. And don't forget that their first vehicle that will be produced to the public will be in the year 2024. So a lot of things can happen until that period of time and but right now i will be watching this company especially with that solid state battery technology if they can get this this will be in a massive amount of increase in this stock as it will change the ev industry and it would be very good for this stock moving forward but i will keep my eye on that and definitely keep you posted but let me know down below do you think this is a good buy this, do you think this is a sell or a hold or a swing trade just like i did and i made about 160 percent but again i did miss that big entry point i really did want to get into this stock and hold it a little bit longer but again congratulations if you are one of holders on this stock but thank you again for watching. If you did like this video, give me a big thumbs up to keep me alive on YouTube. Smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit all to get my latest uploaded videos. Don't forget to share this page with others. Also, I do have those great promotions down below. Put in $1 into that Moomoo link. We'll get you a free NEO stock. Put in at least $100. We'll get you an additional Lucid LCID stock. And you can also get up to five free stocks that Moomoo will give you randomly. Some of my viewers have actually received Tesla stock, Apple stock, Amazon stock, Netflix, Lucid, Neo. So be sure to take advantage of that free money, that free cash. Also using my link down below, put in one penny into Weeble and you will get five free stocks, each valued potentially up to $3,000. Incredible opportunities. And thank you so much for watching, for supporting the channel. And I can't wait to talk to you on the next one. Thank you.